A rare, powerful earthquake struck Morocco, sending people racing from their beds into the streets and toppling buildings in mountainous villages and ancient cities not built to withstand such force. More than 2,000 people were killed, and the toll was expected to rise as rescuers struggled Saturday to reach hard-hit remote areas. There's no other way. We are going backwards and forwards and everything started moving and pictures started moving and so we, never, we just grabbed, uh, grabbed some clothes. The magnitude 6.8 quake, the biggest to hit the North African country in 120 years, sent people fleeing their homes in terror and disbelief late Friday. One man said dishes and wall hangings began raining down, and people were knocked off their feet. The quake brought down walls made from stone and masonry, covering whole communities with rubble. The devastation gripped each town along the high atlas steep and winding switchbacks in similar ways, homes folding in on themselves and mothers and fathers crying as boys and helmet-clad police carried the dead through the streets. Remote villages like those in the drought-stricken Wargan Valley were largely cut off from the world when they lost electricity and cell phone service. By midday, people were outside mourning neighbors, surveying the damage on their camera phones and telling one another. May God save us. Tourists and others posted videos of people screaming and evacuating restaurants in the city as throbbing club music played. Moroccans also posted videos showing damage to parts of the famous red walls that surround the old city, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. In terms of history, there has been nothing bigger than a magnitude 6.0 within 500 kilometers, 300 miles, of Friday night's epicenter since before 1900. This unfamiliarity of this has consequences. The quake memory in the population will be limited and so will have been the preparedness. It is often also the case that quakes that hit at night have bigger death tolls, as people are more likely to be inside collapsing buildings. The US Geological Survey runs a model that estimates the probable scale of the casualties and economic losses. It suggests for this event that the death toll could be in the high hundreds to low thousands. The current toll could therefore rise and there could be aftershocks. As a rule of thumb people could expect to see one that is about one magnitude less than the main shock. But even smaller tremors risk bringing down already damaged buildings, 